Imagine falling pregnant twice, all in the space of 18 days. That's exactly what happened to one Perth couple. Sandra Searle started IVF not knowing she was already pregnant with daughter Poppy. And just weeks later, brother Michael was conceived. It's called superfetation twins, and it's so rare, there are only 10 confirmed cases all around the world. And Sandra joins us now with her miracle duo, Poppy and Michael. Good morning to you, Sandra. Tell us about the moment you found out you were carrying twins. We found out we were initially pregnant with one baby and uh, then we went for an early scan and we found out we were pregnant with two babies uh, developing at different times. So basically when we went to the scan, we found a, a seven and a half week old baby with a heartbeat. And then they were able to find the five week old sac that was from the IVF cycle. The scan was done at a ultrasound uh, place. So it was separate to the IVF clinic. So I had the sonographer um, that couldn't quite believe what she was seeing on the screen and then I also had another doctor come through and confirmed what we were seeing and they said to us you know do you understand what's happening and we kind of just shook our heads and went I, I think so <laughs> and then the next day I had a phone call from our gynecologist also explaining the um, the age difference and how unusual it was so yeah but everything was very much up in the air at that stage in the early days of the pregnancy. People are trying to get their heads around this, Sandra, which I'm sure you guys were too. I know. You were con you were told you couldn't conceive naturally. <laughs> then you conceived through IVF, and then you had increased hormone levels. So they did that scan, and then they said, "Hang on, there was already one that had conceived naturally." It's kind of a miracle. It is absolutely a miracle, definitely. I mean, we never thought we'd be able to conceive naturally. So, <laughs> yeah, we were com in complete and utter shock, to be honest. Well, the whole uh, medical world as well, because it is so, so rare. Take us through how rare it actually is for this to happen. Well, I, as, as you've said, um, I believe there are only a handful of cases uh, in the world where you've got such a difference in gestational um, age. So with there being the 18 days, um, it's just because your body's not supposed to fall pregnant again. So yeah, I, I believe only a handful of cases. Are they still called twins and were they born the same day? Are these silly questions? <laughs> Yeah, no, look, we do consider them twins. They were born the same day, um, but it was really difficult trying to find the right time to deliver the babies. So uh, my obstetrician had me in hospital for a couple of weeks, just trying to get me as far along as she could. Uh, she was hoping to get me to 39 weeks with twins, which is uh, quite difficult. And um, we made it to, Poppy was 37 and five, and Michael was 35 weeks. Wow. And were there any uh, complications um, afterwards? Uh, they look so beautiful right now. They look perfect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, because Michael was born at 35 weeks, he was premature and he did arrive the size of a 33-week-old, so he was only wow. two kilos. So he spent two weeks in NICU um, just learning how to feed and, and to regulate his temperature and uh, then he came home to us. So we've been very fortunate that we've ended up with two healthy babies despite uh, the complications and the unusual age difference. <laughs> We weren't sure if that, because of the seven and a half week old baby, the older baby Poppy, um, if the younger baby would survive because there was already a baby in the womb um, taking, you know, nutrients and etc. from me growing. So um, it seemed very, yeah, we were very concerned at that point whether or not we'd end up with two babies. We had two very different sized babies from the very beginning. Um, and yeah, so each scan, it was, they were measuring each baby separately, like a separate baby, obviously, but also just considering their gestational um, age as well. So I'd have to have a scan for the 20 weeks and then we were measuring Michael behind at 17. 
These guys don't look anything alike and their personalities do seem quite different at this stage. Um, Poppy's quite bubbly, whereas Mickey's been quite reserved up until now, but he's starting to come out of his shell. Um, we weren't sure if that was just because developmentally he's behind, but she's always a month ahead with all the developmental milestones. Uh, our family have just been over the moon, to be honest, uh, just loving every minute of these little guys and um, their big sister and brother dote on them, maybe a little bit too much. It's already been rather interesting because Poppy started rolling over and, and Michael's not quite there yet so I imagine she'll be on the move and then he'll start a month later and you know even with the sleep regression she goes through it a month before and then I don't really get a break he's he's doing it the um the next month. Sandra, Michael and little Poppy as oh, well absolutely. thank you so much the miracle family <laughs> yeah. amazing thanks for sharing your oh, story. No problem. Thanks for having me thanks for having me. <laughs> thanks bye Poppy right. bye Michael.